the second object I've chosen to talk about is, yeah, one might say, the most famous metal object of the whole of the Italian Renaissance. It's also an incredibly strange thing. It's not very big. In fact, it was a sculpture that was designed to sit on a table because it is known as the Saliera by the artist Benvenuto Cellini. It's a salt and pepper dispenser, which is amazing, isn't it, really? If you think back to the Formica table of the greasy spoon, you think about the salt and pepper dispensers on the table with the, with the ketchup and the brown sauce, it, it's incredible to think that there was a time when those humble implements would be treated with this degree of insane opulence. Because it is made out of gold, and the gold has, got, has been enameled in places, which is where you can see those, uh, the colours. But the gold hasn't been cast, it's been hammered. So it means that the artist has taken the gold in very, very thin sheets and hammered it from the inside with a little tiny hammer to create naturalistic bodies. So time consuming, yes, very time consuming very detailed you know there's a lot of work that has gone into the curls on the heads of these characters on the curly beard on the architectural form at the bottom on that bizarre kind of uh, what i would call that mythical creature with the horse's head and the flippers at the right corner all of this extraordinary attention to detail and you think it's a salt cellar would anyone even look at it here's the thing it doesn't actually matter if it wasn't really looked at. In fact, you might even say, the fact it wasn't looked at very much would have enhanced the prestige of the person who owned it. Because if this is where you get your salt from, what kind of a person are you? Well, the kind of person you are is that you are the King of France, Francis I, for whom this was made, on the left hand side you have the goddess of the earth, her name is Tellus, and on the right hand side you have the god of the sea, Neptune. Now the reason why you have Tellus and Neptune is that you have salt, which comes from the sea, and you have pepper, which comes from the earth. Salt and pepper in the 16th century were immensely expensive. They were not things to be casually tossed into one's food or thrown over your chips. They were incredibly hard to get hold of and expensive. This is flavouring and this is preservative. So these are very, very valuable items at the time. It's a really interesting object. It's in the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna. For Cellini, it was his masterpiece. For us, it's, it, it, it's become something else, but it's still really fascinating. I think it's a really fascinating, but a strange object. It's also a reminder that what we know of the Italian Renaissance has been heavily edited for us. We don't get pure Renaissance. What we get is a heavily edited version of it, where people have decided over the years what you should and shouldn't see. The weird Renaissance is what we don't get to see. This, to me, <laughs> is the weird Renaissance in a nutshell, because it is utterly surrealist utterly bizarre, but nevertheless a really, really compelling thing to look at.